All right, what's up, folks? Total War is here again. Today, uh, we're showing another 3v3 Siege Assault. Uh, this time, there is no Iceni. I know I've been doing quite a few Iceni lately, um, and I have more of the, that faction in the future coming. Um, but to start out with the factions for, on defense, we have Swaby, Lusitani, and Egypt. Uh, we have some Iberian Cavalry here for Lusitani. He's got some veteran shield warriors in the back there. Lusitani's a little bit of a glass cannon faction. It's more um, veteran shield warriors than some Iberian swords. Lusitani nobles, Iberian swordsmen. That one's got a chevron there. Um, then Balearic slingers, four Lusitani nobles. Uh, more Balearic slingers, two more of those. And then two veteran shield warriors there. Um, like I was saying, they're kind of a glass cannon faction. If they're used correctly, they will go a long way. They are very effective, um, but if used incorrectly, they shatter. They are completely useless if you just make one or two mistakes with this kind of faction. So you really got to be on your guard with them. Um, for Egypt, we have pikemen, an Egyptian pikemen, uh, thorax swords kind of crowding the streets there. Uh, then they've got some royal peltas, two of those, another thorax, another royal peltas. Uh, quite a few royal peltas. That's one, two, three, four. Four Royal Peltasts. Uh, we've got some Nubian bowmen here. Uh, so it looks like they might have taken a downgrade on their archers a little bit just to save some funds for those Royal Peltasts. And then a Carrion Axeman General. Then over here for Swaby, we've got uh, Sword Masters inside the Citadel. We've got some Kimbri bow women, uh, some more Sword Masters. And then we've got uh, Berserkers, two Berserkers there, uh, two Longbow Hunters. Uh, two round shield swords, and then four sword master across the back there. Uh, three club levy, and then two round shield. Actually, I already, oh no, two round shield swords. I haven't mentioned those. I thought I had there. Okay, so for the attacking factions, we have the Araverni, we have the uh, Athens, and we have uh, good old Rome coming back today. Um, so for Athens, we've got Thorax Swords, kind of a predictable setup. Athens doesn't really have a lot of variety. None of the Greek states really do, I don't think, um, or in my opinion. So those Thorax are up front on the advance. We've got some spears here, probably, yeah, pick hoplites. Um, pikemen, yes, two pikemen, some mercenary veteran hoplites, mercenary Cretan archers there, uh, archer, and then more Thorax, mercenary veteran hoplites, some pick hoplites. Uh, and I'm assuming there's some more units hidden somewhere in here. Um, so for because I don't see the full Roman army here. So for the start here, we've got legionnaires, um, and then eagle cohort back behind that, and then we've got some levies. Whoa, that's not one you see very often. These guys actually have a level five chevron though. So we'll see how those do. Uh, some auxiliary Balearics, and then two or no one auxiliary Syrian archer. Um, Soshai Extraordinari, here we've got two more Syrian archers, a uh, ballista team, a moving Roman ballista, eagle cohort, and then the legatus in the back there, and that's a, uh, another eagle cohort. So this guy's actually got five archers, uh, which is, oh, maybe it was five plus one, or four plus one, which would explain why he has the Javi unit. Um, and the Korean archers there moving up now, was that... Yes, they were already there, I think. Um, and then those are just the archers. Okay, so the uh, Athenians have broken the walls and are beginning the advance. Meanwhile, the Araverni already inside. We've got some Celtic warriors up here on the walls. Uh, these guys are backed, wow, four Celtic warriors. And then backed by four Oath Sworn with another Oath Sworn in the um, gallery there. Three, four, three Gallic hunters there. Um, and then those are backed by some Celtic youths, and these guys are pretty much just another javelin unit. Um, and then some spears back here, spear warriors. Then we've got the noble horse. The entire ballista has been burnt down. Uh, the defending uh, artillery has taken that all out. There is a second artillery here. So this must have been like no rules, because it's not following the normal 124. So we have like five archers, two ballistas here. Uh, I see. Did I see two for Swaby? I think I did, yeah. There was another one right here for Swaby. Or maybe it was Athens. Or, I mean, yeah, Athens is helping defend the city. Um, Egypt. So, okay, we've got a Celtic warrior here that's got down. It's going to get hit by a royal Peltast. 
and they're going to get taken out really fast with that one. Um, it's also going to get charged by a veteran shield warrior. So, these guys are pretty much doomed already, uh, even this close into the battle. The Oathsworn are beginning to advance towards the Siege Towers. I'm sorry, the camera is getting a little bit jerky here. I don't know. I'm not being as smooth as I normally am. Okay, so these... Whoa, these Oathsworn. Level 3 Chevron. Level... Wait. Yeah, level 3 Chevron. This one's got a level 3 Chevron. This one's got a level 4 Chevron. And this one's got a level 4 Chevron. So these guys are stacked. Uh, that's quite an army. And then he's got... This Oathsworn's got no chevrons, but that explains... Wait, no, does he have less units? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 units. So he lost one, maybe? I might have missed one. So yeah, maybe he does have the whole thing. Um, but wow, that's uh, some army. Um, and now these Celtic warriors are getting mutilated up on the walls. Now the Oathsworn are going to try to join them, it looks like. They start beginning climbing up the siege towers. Meanwhile, on the other side, Rome and Athens have enjoyed a little bit more success than um, the Ereverni are. The Ereverni kind of attacking by themselves, which is a bit strange. And what's also strange is there's two defenders on one Ereverni to... Um, one defender versus a Rome and an Athens. I would be double teaming Rome. Um, Rome, not the not Araverni. Though the Araverni Oathsworn are going to be quite a pain to deal with. So maybe they are worth double teaming. But really, I don't know how long Swaby is going to hold against a combined Athenian and Roman push. I mean, he's got some pretty good choke points here. He's got quite a few levels of choke points. He's got the first one here plugged up. These two plugged up. Um, then he can fall back to these three streets. And then back even further to these two streets. And then back even further to these two streets. Um, he might, nope, those two here, here, and then here. And then he would fall back even into the Citadel. Then he's got some two sword masters that are in the Citadel that I didn't mention earlier, I don't believe, um, unless he pulled them back. So he's got a good setup, but the numbers game is going to be a huge deal over here, and especially with the Roman powerhouse going on, uh, I don't know how long he's going to be able to hold. Maybe the idea is to just wipe out Iceni quickly. Whoa, Sally coming from the Lusitani here. They have got the Oathsworn stopped now. Uh, the Iberian Cavalry, I don't know what the plan was right there. Maybe to take out the Oathsworn Javelins. That seems like it would be the most... A uh, reasonable thing here. Fire is pouring into the back of these Oathsworn, and now the Oathsworn have lost at least one volley of their javelins, possibly more, to th throwing at that cavalry. Um, so I said, or er, Lusitani needs to be careful here because they do have a noble horse. Uh, Seventy-seven men left on that unit, and they kind of need to not get hit by that thing. A charge on one of these lightly armored Lusitanian units would just wreck the unit. So yeah, whoa, he's, so he's going to pull back and possibly back inside. I think it was just kind of a delay thing just to kind of slow down while they could, so they could destroy these Oathsworn and these Celtic warriors and then the one Oathsworn that's inside the walls and then just slow everybody else down for a little while. Um, keep the more of the units outside the walls so they can um, focus down what's in there now. Meanwhile, the round shield swords, um, gonna take a charge here. The picked hoplites, no, the veteran hoplites, there is two of those. And this one here has a level one chevron. I don't think I saw this one earlier, but they're gonna take a hail of javelin fire here from these round shields and then from the sword masters. I like the defensive setup here. He's going heavy um, with the javelin fire on the charge uh, with that three units, and then a fourth here, once they engage, I assume will move up and discharge their javelins. But these slow advancing spears that are in the hoplite formation, yeah, they're gonna take that uh, javelin fire quite badly. Um, and they're gonna engage now, and I'm surprised they didn't try to get a charge from those round shield swords, because they are better on the charge. They have a charge bonus of 24, Four, which is something. What's their melee defense? 39? Okay, yeah, they're probably better staying on the defense. Um, but they are taking archer fire now from these Cretans. Uh, so they're going to want to get out of there pretty quickly, probably, in exchange for some heavier armored units. I mean, these guys only have a uh, 40 armor, so you're probably going to want to get some sword masters in there because these guys have 80. 
um, just to avoid that ar archer fire, or try to move these club levies around, engage these thorax, and force the uh, Cretans out of there. Let's see. And then back over here, uh, the archers now all getting inside, all these Celtic youths, all the Gullock hunters. Um, the Oath Sworn down here is holding strong against one, two, three, four, four Royal Pelthos and a Carrion Axeman. Uh, the deployment here is a little interesting. I've never seen such a, like a mob of great units just charging against one. And the one is actually holding, and this guy's only got level three Chevron. He was one of the worst on the Oath Sworn. Um, and then, let's see, um, Lusitani has moved back inside. They are, I don't know what they're doing. Lusitani hasn't really been effective so far in the battle. They've kind of held back. Um, they did, I mean, obviously the Sally, they lost the cavalry unit, but you can see there's no infantry out here um, that they lost. And then, um, back over here, Let's see. Not a lot of big actions happening here. Um, but there is an advance from the Legionnaires. How? Whoa. Did they get through this street? Wow. Okay. I think I knew that existed, but I was not at all thinking of, like, how you'd have to defend that. Yeah, they got through this little side street here. I'm surprised he's not moving an extra unit to try and cover that. Those Legionnaires are pretty much doomed at this point. Because they're going to start taking fire from the back from the Longbow Hunters. Actually, I think they might already be. Um... But wow, yeah, that's a gap uh, well exposed because he can leak more units through here at this point. These legionnaires can move through that hole as well. Um, possibly even some of the Athenian allies. And he can bust this first choke point wide open. Um, and that would put the Swavy in a very interesting and precarious position. position. Uh, and he's going to try that. He's going to push through here um, with these legionnaires. Can I? Can I go into their camera? Okay, so yeah, they can actually squeeze between this big, I don't know what this is, this building. Uh, it's like a complex of some sort. And then just the townhomes, and I can see up on the wall, Athens is also pushing. So he's gonna have to divert units to stop the Athenian push on the wall. And he's now got Romans bleeding through into his back. Um, where did all those bodies come from? Uh, let's see, the Roman engagement is still going on over there. And more Roman units going to leak through right there. So he's going to have to engage these Athenians on the wall who are now advancing. Those are winning quickly against those round shields. Um, and you can see he's immediately pulling back his units to that second choke point. Uh, he couldn't hold against that Roman. Good move by Rome to find the gap, to push, get through it, and then now to encircle the remaining defenders, help Athens get through quicker. Um, and he's going to hold out here at this second choke point. He's actually going to combine these two choke points into one uh, by stretching two units across. I thought he'd defend this street and then come over here and defend this street and defend the two separately. He's going to defend them both together. So in one long line. We'll see how that one works out as opposed to just the two. Um, or opposed to doing two. So the longbow hunters out front there. These guys got five kills. Unfortunately, this good, this first choke point was good. But unfortunately, obviously the Romans got around and were able to encircle it. And it just didn't happen to work out for them. Um, and then meanwhile, over here, where I can see a Celtic hunter or a Celtic warrior routing. Um, this guy kind of threw away his royal peltas. It's a bit of an issue. He threw him out against the uh, lighter units, and now he's going to have to fight these upgraded Oathsworn with just Thorax. Um, Lusitani has now disengaged and fallen back to the Citadel. Good, probably a good move by Lusitani here, um, since they can kind of play as like a reserve unit or reserve faction at this point um all the fire pouring down from the walls is also not helping the egyptians right now they are taking a lot of fire from up above and it's not working out for them these osworn have only lost a total of about 40 men close to about 39 they have racked up 194 kills and climbing they might actually reach 200 um they are losing now they have reached 200 kills these guys have 115 men left. They've earned another Chevron now, so they are now a level five Chevron. They have lost 45 men. Uh, they're at 209 on that kill count. So if all the Osworn play out that well, um, and against elite units, I mean, they were fighting Royal Peltas. It's not like they were fighting like Carrion Axemen or um, like 
Egyptian infantry or anything. They were fighting elite Royal Pothos units. These Royal Pothos only got 82 kills there. Uh, this one here got 79, I think, also. Egypt's pretty much out of archers. These pikemen should probably set up now and try to see what they can do, but I don't think it's going to be much at this point. Um, back over here, the success of Athens and Rome is continuing. They have broken through. They are now nearing the second choke point for the Swabians. Uh, the Swabians going to open with some archer fire on this advancing thorax or the stationary thorax. Um, these two as well forming up here and these Cretan archers 33 kills still got ammunition um, they're probably in a pretty good position to fire on these club levies uh, I know it's a shield side technically it's from the front though they could hit these longbow hunters possibly what's they got a 150 range yeah I think that I think that's in range then these archers here 125 31 kills and probably uh, yes they still have ammunition so they're getting run over by some infantry. Uh, we got the legionnaires and the thorax swords moving through as this combined allied advance continues to push um, into the main uh, city. They've enjoyed quite a bit of success so far. No real resistance. I mean, they had this obviously this little bit, but Rome's tactic broke that before it really was able to substantiate into anything large. These round shields look like they tried to retreat. They didn't make it, and now they're going to get encircled by some mercenary veteran hoplites. These guys tried 42 kills. They're going to pull out and try to charge these mercenary veterans, uh, but it's not going to help much. Uh, maybe get a little bit of pull through here. Yeah, he's going to try to pull them through and get away, and it's just not to be. So he is going to rout, it appears. His morale is on red, and yeah, he's gonna go down, 42 kills. Congratulations to the round shield swords. They did get encircled and surrounded. They tried to neutralize that tower again. Just didn't work out for him. For him. Now these uh, defenders are trying to hold strong against yet another Roman push. These legionnaires winning quickly against those club levy. Um, also, the same thing with the thorax here. They're going to push through that light tier infantry, that low tier infantry, really, really fast. Athens going to try to do their same tactic and wall climb across here. Uh, their next get down point would be clear behind the defense. Um, so I'm surprised you don't see any sword masters trying to get up on the wall and cover that. Um, meanwhile, on the other side, the Oathsworn are all now all inside. These guys 22 kills, these guys 30, these guys 11, and this one here at 213 as a thorax is beginning to rout. This guy's just got his units kind of clumped here. I don't know, maybe he left and accidentally, but he's been moving units around, so that couldn't hardly be it because um, he's been ordering moves. Now he's just leaving his archers right out there trying to retreat those Royal Peltas. Now he's going to turn them around push them back in. I don't know what's with this clump right here. It's a little strange. Because you could really choke them out right here. Put the choke point here at this street, and then here at this street, and then right here where the Lusitani is holding, and you cut them off and at least have some form of defense there. Now all his archers have been beaten out. Um, all he's got left is those thorax, and then those Egyptian, and Egyptian pikemen, and then the pikemen. Over here, the first of the club levy have routed or are wavering and retreating. Um, the sword masters are not going to push. Uh, yeah, those mercenary veterans might break through too. So he's just going to hold there. He's going to let these guys come to him. The sword master is going to take a charge there. Um, there we go. Oh, no, he did not counter. Yes, he, well, did he? He, he ordered headhunt, so he might have countercharged a little bit there. These longbow hunters are going to go out with 29 kills, forced to retreat there. These sword masters, I'm surprised, are not being thrown in. Um, then the club levy have fallen back. They're going to countercharge, it looked like. Um, but then they, like, they can't make up their minds. They go forward, and then they turn around, and then they go back a little ways, and then they turn around, and then they come back. And they're just wearing themselves out at this point. <laughs> At least this other one's like, uh, well, I guess we can do just nothing. I guess we can just reserve our strength. Um, now the Romans going to charge these guys. I assume that will stop their pacing. Um, yeah, they're going to take a huge charge and enter the melee. Um, so the archer right here, right behind the main Swabian line, could mow that legionnaire down. I'm surprised he doesn't have one moved up. Uh, does he? Yeah, he's still got two archers inside the citadel here. Um, 
If he moves them to where these Balearic Slingers are, I don't know. He probably can't reach. That's a little out of range for a Slinger, or for any unit. Um, except for maybe like a Ballista. And speaking of Ballistas, where's the Roman Ballista? It's right here. Um, now, it's got 14 kills. So it's clearly fired a little bit. And I don't think, though, that it is out of ammunition. It's got to have some somewhere. Um, and they will probably come in a big deal late game. These Ballistas normally do. Um, they normally are late game units. And so we've got the Oathsworn here, um, kind of setting up defenses. I don't know why he's not advancing on these Oathsworn, or on these Thorax. This guy's at 222 kills, 81 men left. Um, and I guess he's going to try to go with Archer Fire for, oh no, he's out of Archer Fire, or these Celtic Youths are out of Archer Fire. Or Javelin Fire. What about the Gallic Hunters? The Gallic Hunters are out as well. Uh, or at least that one unit that I can see. Now, this unit is hiding in the trees? What? I don't... I don't get this. What? What's with this unit? I guess he's like watching for a Sally or something. He moved him out to give him like a pre-alert on another Sally from the Lusitani. Um, and now the Lusitani is going to shift their formation? What? Why? I don't see why he did that. He literally moved the units that were right here, over here. He just swapped positions and moved this one out to the front. Maybe he's going to try to launch a counterattack against these guys. Because um, one of these guys could break through, get to these archers, or these Celtic youths, and get behind the thorax, and then or behind the Oswar, and then push with these thorax. Could wipe out the Aravernae pretty quickly. Um, but it doesn't... Yeah, that, that, that must be what he's doing. He's going to push here with some veteran shield warriors against this Oath Sworn. This guy's got 45 kills. None of them have really had the success the first one had. This one's at 92 men left for 45 kills. So nothing really impressive. Um, and I don't see why this guy... Okay, here we go. He's going to just he's just keep moving up slowly into javelin range because the Oath Sworn won't fire javelins while they're in shield wall. He's just trying to move up and give them his javelins and then potentially move back. He's just trying to weaken that Oathsworn, and he's not yet in range. Yep, he is. Okay, there we go. That's what he's doing. He moved up for the Javelins, and now some Celtic youths, or Oaths, Celtic warriors are going to advance with that Oathsworn. He's going to countercharge it, and then leave that back unit to continue the Javelin fire. Um, the veteran Shield Warriors should win against the Celtic Warriors. I don't know so much about the Oathsworn. It is losing now as well. Um, but a second Oathsworn has joined the fight as well as a mob of Celtic youths now are moving in that direction. So um, his chances of survival are pretty slim at this point. I mean, overwhelming numbers. He's not surrounded though. So if he just keeps juicing units in, um, it should work out. Now these veteran or some Iberian swords are going to try to move and encircle these guys. Good move here by Lusitani. He's going to wipe out Ereverni early uh, or as quick as he can. Um, this will be in general has entered the fight. 10 kills on that Swordmaster. 105? Where did I, where did I just see 105? I, I know I saw it. Uh, right there. 106 on that Thorax. Um, and yeah, there's just a huge gap right here. I mean, it's it's pretty much over. They are bleeding through. He needs to just fall back to the Citadel at this point. There's no real um, place to hold now other than the Citadel. These guys have just crushed their way through. These archers um, are going to try to set up on the back shots on these guys, which is actually really, really smart. They're going to get back behind the Swordmasters and... Yeah, he's just been kind of on the back foot the whole time against overwhelming numbers. So you can't really blame him. I mean, he is facing two armies, um, and he hasn't really received any help from his allies. So these veteran shield warriors now have been kind of neutralized a little bit. Um, we really need these thorax to push at this point. I mean, coming up this alley, just go straight up the alley, kill all these Celtic uh, or Gullic hunters, Celtic youths right there. Um, help get behind these guys if he can engage these Oathsworn and he'll hold them in place let these guys get through you can see he's coming up on the walls with some Iberian swords he's going to try to go past those um, spear warriors um, but yeah it's I don't know what's going on here with Egypt he really really needs to charge in right now I mean even if it's a mob charge or 
to charge a few units in, climb up on the wall, come around, circle those spear warriors, come down and behind again, um, just to make another point of attack. So these veteran shield warriors have opened up a 228 kill count. Um, these guys have 22 from their javelin fire have not yet charged in. These Iberian swords, meanwhile, 51 as they open up on with javelin fire on these Oathsworn. This Oathsworn 32 and depleted pretty much. Um, these Iberian swords taking javelin fire from the spear warriors. Um, and these guys not doing much against that spear unit. Um, Unfortunately, this Oathsworn's kind of got a gap. He could break through here if he kind of just squeezes through right there because he did destroy that first unit. He is going to use his javelins first, though. Despite taking javelin fire, he's going to use as much as he can against these guys. Um, so he's going to now engage, I guess, rather than use the rest of them. Maybe he was out. Um, and now he's going to try to squeeze through with these Iberian swords. He makes it. He gets to these Celtic youths. Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to be a slaughter once he gets through that. Those Celtic youths don't stand much of a chance. And now is where we need uh, Egypt to just click in. I think Egypt might have quit at this point. I assume it was about the time that his um, uh, Royal Potas died. That he just like left the game. Maybe left it running since it doesn't really have an AI charge. Um, just left the game running and then just let his units sit there because um, yeah they're so he's effectively pretty much out of this game for any sort of help don't expect him to do anything at this point the Iberian swords I'm surprised they're not charging here as these Iberians have been routed with 94 kills this unit's gonna start losing quick at 81 but they're taking out those lighter units we need these veteran shield warriors to break through against this Oswarn who is winning right now he's gonna get a cycle charge on those guys Maybe bring out these heavier Lusitani nobles to wrap up this one. Um, but that doesn't look like what he's going to do. He's going to let these Iberian swords charge. Uh, if he could just break through with this unit and get in behind there, I don't really know at this point. Um, he's just kind of cut off and on his own. He's still got quite a few reserves, though. Swaby has been overwhelmed and is no longer an effective player in this game. Um, he has been knocked out as a difference maker. So it's pretty much just Lusitani at this point versus like two and a half armies, I'm going to say. Uh, Rome is pretty much a full army still. Athens is probably pretty much still a full army. And then Ereverni is almost gone, but he's technically a half army. So um, we're going with half army there. So two and a half armies versus the Lusitani. Uh, Tus will be in units with no general. The Swabian general is dead at this point. Um, yeah, their general's gone. And then um, I'm going with Egypt's AFK. We're not going to see any more of him unless he is charged by the um, by the Araverni or by someone else. But that doesn't look like it's going to happen because these Iberian swords are going to wrap this all up right now. These veteran shields have broken through. Probably going to circle charge these Oathsworn or encircle the Oathsworn. No, they're going to go for these Celtic youths instead, these uh, Gullic Hunters and such. Um, these Iberian Swords losing right now, 52 kills, but they're going down quick. Uh, yeah, this guy's a goner right now. Lusitani push just completely cuts him off and destroys him. Um, this Oathsworn is like the last unit that's really, really uh, worth time, worth your time. Uh, the, even this Oathsworn lost 50 men already. And it's an even combat with these Iberian Swords. So they don't have any chevrons. So the best units for uh, Ereverni at this point are gone. We will see another Iberian Sword. It looks like one that may have routed and now has rallied. is coming back to join the slaughter. Um, these veteran shield warriors going to try to encircle that Oathsworn, which is now winning. Uh, but he's going to pull out those veteran shields. He's going to charge the back of those Oathsworn. And then I assume we'll see these veteran shields turn around and char counter charge again. Um, instead, the Oathsworn are going to pull after him. And yeah, he's going to start losing quickly with that with that tactic. Um, so the Oathsworn in the streets still holding, surprisingly, 1 of 6 on this guy. Um and he's winning now, uh, but I assume he'll start going down pretty quickly now. Support coming in, uh, just 62 men, so nothing huge. Uh, that Iberian sword uh, losing against the Oathsworn. The uh, Spear Warriors looking like they're going to try to come down and maybe aid and turn the fight. Um, oh, wait, maybe they're just going to stay up and do Javelin Fire. Do they still have Javelins at this point? I think they're out. I, they cannot have any more Javelins. 
Ah, uh, yeah, they're, they're done. Okay. This Osworn has been routed, and, um, oh boy, Rome and Athens have reached the Citadel. They're fighting against Swaby's last line of defense. Uh, Swaby has two archers, uh, but I'm not going to really count on these guys. They're shooting at some cavalry right now, actually. Not the best target, but, I mean, you got to use your shots somehow. So... Maybe they're looking, they know they're going to be done. They're going to try to get rid of that cavalry so it's not there when Lusitani makes their final stand. That kind of makes sense. I mean, a little bit. They get rid of the cavalry because that heavy cavalry would shred Lusitanian units or lighter Lusitanian units. So when Lusitani, Lusitani makes their final stand, it's just to get rid of it um, so that they don't have to worry about that. But they still have the shock cavalry, the Sochi Extraordinarii from Rome. And now with this Osworn routed, the Spear Warriors did come down and try to help. Um, but they were a little bit late. Uh, the Veteran Shield Warriors, 143 there. This one's at 317. These guys on fire right now. They've earned two Chevrons, 317 kills. And they've got a total of 20 men left. These Veteran Shield, or these Spear Warriors probably won't win that. I'm just going to go with their routing pretty quickly. Um, surprisingly, though... The Osworn are not able to beat out the Iberian Swords yet. Eventually that's going to happen, it's, but it's been a very slow decay so far. Um, the Spear Warriors winning despite being surrounded on three sides. Uh, we need to get this Veteran Shield, this Elite one, around behind them and in the back. They're going to try to go back up on the wall now, though. I can see a few of them coming up the steps. Um, it's funny because they don't go up the steps. They just all sudden appear at the top. Ready, and there he goes. Okay, yeah, he just, oh, there he comes. And, like, you don't see him down in there coming up. It's just like, bang, they're all of a sudden up at the top. Okay, so that Lusitani guy just died. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just flooding up. That was kind of a bad idea because they were winning. Now they're losing um, because they're trying to retreat and fight at the same time. And that just doesn't work. Uh, fighting retreats aren't actually that good. Um, so Athens here, going to try to move up the steps here to aid the Romans in the push against Swaby. Swaby taking fire to the back. The Swordmaster, 73 kills and going to route these guys at 135. Balearic Slingers, 81 on the uh, top as they open fire on the remaining units. Um, I'm assuming Swaby's units are going to come over and help eventually. These Kimbri Bow women still do have uh, archer ammo. So, But it says they're firing. Who are they firing at? Wait for them to have a volley off. Um, it says they're firing, but I don't think they are. They, they're not even, like, trying to load at this point. Yeah. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Okay, yeah, so they're... I assume they'll move over and try uh, to aid this defense over here. Uh, two veteran shield warriors have plugged the gap now uh, further back so they don't take the back shots. Good move of archers... Um, in every case so far that I've seen uh, for these attackers, Rome and Athens, because they've been firing right into the back of these Swordmasters all, at every chance they get, right into the back of every enemy, um, rarely wasting their ammo on front shots unless it was a very light unit. Um, and then over here, we have Lusitani unable to, I guess, get up on the wall and try to destroy these guys. Um, but the Osworn did win 115 on that unit. It is exhausted, 96 men left. Um, these Spear Warriors are going to win against these Lusitani. Actually, are they even fighting anybody? Okay, yeah, they're fighting like two guys up on the wall. So that, I don't think that counts as winning a battle. Like two guys that accidentally got up on the wall. So now the uh, Iberians or the Lusitani going to retreat and let the um, Ereverni just kind of have their way, march around. Uh, it's kind of useless at this point uh, because their unit has been, or their army has been so depleted. However, we got some cavalry coming to maybe change this. This noble horse, uh, tired, as it is probably marched, I think, all the way to the side where Rome came in, all the way around, and they've completely like walked the entire city, um, and they are coming to relieve their allies or their general and his remaining subordinates. No, that doesn't sound right. The rem his remaining units. We'll just, we'll just go with that. That just seems normal. Um, <laughs> I don't know where all that came from. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, let's see. Um, da -da -da -da. Okay, right here. The Picktop Lights. They are fighting against those veteran shield warriors. 
132 men left. They have a kill count of 33, though. Some more pick top lights entering the fight, and the veteran shield warriors are going to be on the back foot pretty quick, I'm assuming. Right in the trees, every time. I feel like at least once in every video, I have to go through the trees. I mean, like, just for, for the fun of it. I don't know what happens. Like, okay, we're going to do it. Okay, yeah. It's all of a sudden, the camera just ends up like this in the middle of the trees. It's like, what just happened? I don't I have no idea what just happened. It's like I clicked all the wrong buttons. <laughs> okay, so. Some heavier Lusitani nobles now entering the fight. Uh, the balance of power bar is still even. But the balance of power bar is factoring in the Egyptian units. And the Egyptians are pretty much done, like I said earlier. So, at this point, I'm going with the attackers. Um, Lusitani doesn't have the armor to fight the Romans uh, with this number of archers. Um... Wait, they're firing? Well, maybe if they just keep wasting their ammunition, like literally they're firing into a bunch of dead bodies right now. Um, maybe if the Romans just keep wasting their archer ammo like this, the Lusitani do have a chance. But if not, um, then they are pretty much doomed. I mean, the, the Roman armor is gonna punch through really quickly. These Eagle Cohort giving some javelin support there. I mean, the entire Roman army, all these Eagle Cohort, cohort are still untouched. I mean, 160, 160, 158, 160, 160, 160, 160, uh, 160, 160, and these are all fr these are all fresh. So these guys are going up against the remaining Lusitani defenders. So it's essentially an entire Roman army against like like three fourths of a Lusitanian army, and then uh, Athens. Uh, is like half an army and then Ereverni's done. I'm not even gonna mention Ereverni's army, so it's pretty much just Lusitani against Rome and Athens. Uh, and so he's outnumbered. I get he's just fighting at one choke point, but still, I mean, that's it's not gonna work out. I think he's gonna lose this one. Lusitani is there's no way he pulls out against this overwhelming numbers. Um, and his heavily armored units, how many he's got three. Four heavily armored units, five counting the one that's currently engaged. They are beasts when you put them in right. So they could rack up a kill count. They might bring this one close, but I still don't think I don't think they're enough to pull this one around um, and win it. Um, he does get that tower support though, because the tower capture point. Oh wait, nope, the tower's been neutralized. So yeah, scratch that. Um, he's firing on some empty Cretan archers with his Blaric Slinger, so that's a little bit of a mistake there. Uh, these Blaric Slingers at 103 is they're firing down on these Cretan archers. These Cretan archers have swords drawn, like I said. So probably, well, no, no, yeah, I think that's probably fine. Okay, the levies now are going to get in here. We're going to see what these guys can do. They've got 25 kills so far, five chevrons. They're a well, unit you don't see very often just because of how cheap they are. Um, normally you see the Velites. Um, but we'll see how they, how many kill counts they, or how many kills they can get against these Lusitani here late in the game. You never know. Maybe this cheap unit will be the game changer. I mean, you never know. Some things happen in Rome too. Okay, so these Balearic Slingers, 148, have routed those Cretan archers out of the game uh, completely now. Uh, this Balearic Slinger here at 197, and just assuming they're out of ammunition. Um, I know the generals got sword, or the leaders got swords drawn. Um, no, these guys are not out of ammunition. 197, so we're looking for these guys to get 200. Um, and now Lusitani continuing uh, the defense here. That's pretty much all they can do. Um, the loose, let's see, the veteran shield warriors, level 2 chevron, 203 kills. I mean, I don't think I've seen a single veteran shield warrior that's gotten like less than 100 kills so far. He's just like really just racking up the kill counts with these guys. Because um, we have the one, where's this one? This guy's got 213. This guy's got 344. So 500 kills just between the two of those guys. 171 and on an Iberian sword. So this, is, I think they've got like a thousand. Okay, 200. I wish I had a calculator right now. 200. Uh, let me get this up. 200. Uh, 171. Let's see. Uh, gotta load my calculator. It's too big to do the figures in my head. I guess I could just do two, and two is four. And then one, let's just say two, is six, plus three is 900, plus 63, so roughly about a thousand kills just from these guys. So 213 uh, plus, 
344. Um, 344 plus 171 um, 208 uh, plus 63. Okay, 999 kills from these three units alone. So I think just or from these five units. So from these five units, we're easily going to see a thousand kills before this is all over. Because uh, they only have to get, obviously, one more kill, and it's all done. Or they have a 1,000 kills on these five units alone. That's not something you see uh, very often. So, yeah, that, that's remarkable. I've, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I had once, I got a Lusitani um, Veteran Shield Warrior. I think it was to, like, 400 and, like, 55 kills. Uh, but I don't think I've ever scored a 1,000 over three units, or over five units. That's ridiculous. Uh, so the Eagle Cohort now engaging Rome coming in late game. The Balearic Slingers here, 10 kills. I'm assuming they just opened fire. I mean, they got a straight shot right in because there's no defenders right here in the center. You can see it's all Athenian shields right here and Romans. Wait, is that a Praetorian Guard? I thought I saw a Praetorian Guard somewhere in here. No, it was, just, it was just a, it must have just been a Roman and it looked like he had a crest because it was one of the Athenians. So we've got some pikes now moving in here. Oh, wait, or do we? Yeah, yeah, got some pikemen in that fight now. The veteran shield warrior is going to counter charge uh, those picked hoplites. And I'm assuming fire is going to open up on those pikes pretty quickly. These Balearic Slingers, 243, and it looks like they're now out of ammunition. On this side, these Balearic Slingers at... Uh, 332 kills. So Lusitani, I think I'm going with like 5,000 kills for Lusitani alone in this one. And he's firing down. He's got quite a bit of range. He's actually firing down on these cheaper units. The Balearic Slingers there, 126, going to get routed. Um, he's firing in on these archers. That's what's allowing him to get such high, high kill counts. These levies, only 27 kills. They're going to go out now. Um, and, well, their morale was red. Now it's kind of rallying. Uh, so maybe these guys won't actually get a 1,000 kills. They just need one more. But the uh, Araverni is going to opt not to fight them and instead go and fight with their allies. Um, I don't know what I think of that. I think I would prefer if they fought these guys. I mean, just because these guys are cheaper and it's a thin line of defense. They could easily break through here and then encircle or force Loose Tiny to pull some reserves back and aid this section um, and make it easier. Instead, they're going to just make it one brute force push. But I mean, if Egypt right now wanted to come back into this fight, this one would be over. I mean, Egypt would be a tide turner right here. Just come around, come either aid in the Citadel or flank these remaining Roman defenders. Athens is pretty much out of it, or Roman attackers. It's pretty much just Rome at this point. Um, I think Rome should open up the second gap. I mean, honestly, just push this corner, and I think you can do a lot of damage to the Lusitani defense, but they're going to opt right now, at least, for just continuing the push through this center. The Eagle Cohort, 63 men left, 162 kill count on that one. 65 on these picked top lights as the Lusitani Nobles chew right through those guys. Um, these Veteran Shield Warriors, 145. This one here at 71, and this one back here at 150. The Balearic Slingers up on the wall, 70, 42 kills. Uh, but they are taking fire from, what are these, Syrians? Yeah, some Syrian archers. They're going to return fire now, though. Uh, and I imagine just because of the positioning, they're going to take the lead pretty quickly. Uh, Swabian reinforcements also not opting to help. Um, he probably went AFK as well. So uh, Lusitani all on his own here in the final bit of this one. And I still think, I mean, even with Athens gone, I still think the Roman armor is going to be too much to stop. I don't think Lusitani can win this one. Even, I mean, just with this choke point. The only way I can actually envision this winning is if Egypt all of a sudden comes back into this fight, brings their four, eight thorax and two pikemen, and just comes back and just, I mean, mauls the, the attackers. Um, but I think we're seeing a last stand here. So the Syrian archer is going to go out with 43 kills. That Balearic at 88 now as it mows those guys down. Uh, Rome just keeping his units in reserve, slowly juicing them into the fight. This one in the back discharging his javelins. This guy is a fresh 159-man eagle cohort. 
Um, the Eagle Cohort, that's like, what is, where is that on the tier? Uh, that's about the higher than an Avocati, but lower than an Armored uh, Legionnaire, um, I think. Yeah, I think I think it's Avocati and then uh, Veteran Legionnaires, maybe? And the, No, that, that, that's not right. Um, but I think these guys are like right before the armored legionnaires and they're a little bit lighter in armor but they have pretty good stats i feel like they're a decent unit um so we'll see how they do the Balearic slingers 256 gonna enter the melee not doing too great these pikemen uh not taking fire surprisingly i think they would be one of the top picks for these top one of the top targets for these units these guys still got ammunition here these Balearic slingers and these guys are at 206 kills. I mean, if a unit didn't get under 400 kills for Lusitani, it's like crazy. Um, 354 on these Polaric Slingers as they are now out of ammunition. Um, and then over on the other side, I guess uh, Ereverni taking the time to capture this point um, before advancing on. I guess it, does it do like a morale damage if this is captured? What's the things on this? The capture point. Oh, it's not going to show me. I think it is like some sort of morale bonus if you hold these points so it's probably not the worst idea to take those do they they don't even own the gate though oh my so they they're firing wow look at all these romans and athenians dead as they tried to flee that's just sad they really should have just taken the gate i mean look at all these guys oh my yeah i don't think any routers survived wait clear out here wow that that's some range i don't I didn't know they went that far. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not as far as I thought it was. Okay. Um, did any make it this way? Uh, wait, did I see? Nope. I don't see any routers. So it doesn't look like anybody has survived. You're pretty much just better fighting to the death because you're just going to, when you leave, you're just going to get killed. Um, and then just got mowed down. I'm surprised these guys in the back aren't taking fire, though, because this almost seems like it'd be in range if they'd start firing on the back of these Eagle cohort. Um, Hmm, strange. I don't. I don't. I don't know why you wouldn't just take the gate. I mean, just send a le that levy unit earlier. It would have taken like five seconds, and it would have saved you quite a bit of time, or saved you quite a bit, I think, because some of those units might have rallied outside the gate, but now they're all dead. Um, obviously, they cannot rally again. Um, so these Eagle Cohort, one kill, 116 men. They're going to come in and discharge their javelins. This Lusitani Veteran Shield Warrior going to go out with 131. This Lusitani Noble's losing at 209. It looks like it's going to got only 87 men left, but it aren't two chevrons, so I mean it was decent. The Balearic Slingers up here on the wall. I don't know what these guys are doing. They've lost, or they have 113. They've lost about 16 or six men to those archers. Um, and now the Ballista is coming in. Okay, this one is going to be like game changing here. This, I mean, I think the Romans already have it, but outside of that, this is going to be one of the reasons they have it. This thing, oh, what? what? It's out of ammunition? You gotta be kidding me. This thing went out with 14 kills. I don't even think it broke a hole in the wall. Let's see. That, yeah, the tortoise broke that one, and that one, and that one. And there's no towers destroyed. And there's no holes in the citadel. And... Yep, I'm pretty sure he's out of ammunition, and that, yeah, I mean, I don't know, what what was he firing on? Seriously, you gotta save that stuff for the late game. 14 kills? That is not enough. You, you gotta get more than that. Okay, that is, uh, strange. I don't, the, you, how does a Roman Ballista go without 14 kills, without breaking any hole in the wall, without firing at any towers? I mean, wow, you know what, I... I have no, I am speechless on that one. Okay, so a hole has been broken here. I don't know why he's not going around. I mean, come around the buildings. Just take this little trek uh, right around and boom, you're right behind the Lusitanians. Uh, so Lusitani slowly going down on the back foot here and yeah, it's, it's done. Um, his Slinger's 121. Um, there's not much left to say. I think he's he's pretty much over with. Nine minutes left, though. So he, he really stretched this one out. There's nine minutes, nine and a half minutes left on the replay. So he really made his final stand last. Um, 
So yeah, more just heavy infantry pouring in at this point. It's it's done. I'm I'm calling this one. It was the attackers. Congratulations, everybody. Um, if I'm wrong, I will be shocked. Um, he should probably pull the Lusitani Lusitani Iberian swords and these veteran shield warriors and move them over here because they are essentially useless over there because there's nobody attacking over there. I don't think anybody's going to attack over there. However, he might have to leave something there just because cavalry could come in and circle him. That's the other thing. Why don't they move the cavalry up right here? Bang, right through the hole, right through the gap, right around the building, right through. I mean, you don't even have to go all the way around. There's a hole in this temple complex right here. You can come right through. Bang, hit the archers, bang, and circle the infantry. Game over. You win. Um, I'm sure it's not that simple, but you know what? It seems that simple in my mind right now. Um, okay, so he's just going to continue to just push straight in with heavy infantry. Not going to try to encircle, which is really got me. I don't know what. I don't know why he's not. Um, I mean, yeah, look, even this stuff's just going to draw up and give the archer fire or the javelin fire instead of uh, pushing in. And these Syrian archers. Ooh, look at this. We got some veteran or Lutasani nobles breaking through. Oh, they could have got to the archers, but it looks like they're going to hit the eagle cohort instead. Pop a headhunt there. Um, and now the auxiliary Syrians firing on those Balearics. The Balearics going to try and retreat. These guys got 139 and are out of ammunition, but they are going to try to juice as much ammo, ammo from those Syrians as they can. Um, the Syrians going to continue to move up and actually going to walk right into the fight and enter the melee uh, because of that tactic. Now, okay, here it comes. Here comes the cavalry. This is game over. Aravernian cavalry has ended this one. They did exactly like I said. The noble horse is going to finish it off. And, whoa, what kind of turn was that? It's like a drifting turn. <laughs> We're not racing, people. Um, what's it called? Drift? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Wait, why is he turning around? No. Go back. Turn around. Turn around. What? Why would you do something like that? Uh, you know what? I, I have no idea. Why didn't he just go straight through? Uh, maybe he's going to take javelin fire from the Lusitani nobles? I, I'm not sure there. Okay. The remaining few units that were over here might not get to a thousand kills. They just need one more. So let's take a quick stock. 113, 344, 63, 171, or 208. We just need these guys to get just a few more kills and they will or just one more kill each or just one just one kill and they'll have the entire 1000 for five of those guys um the cavalry now turning through here i don't know why Araverni didn't want to push he's now moving back he's just going to retreat that unit um okay so the lusitani noble general thing is going to move through here the noble horse is going to retreat maybe he's just showing rome that you can do hey like hey you can do this um, he's going to let the shock calf or the spears or something take out the remaining Lusitanians here. I don't know. I want so badly for these guys to just get one kill, just one, and just make a thousand. But I don't think it's going to happen because this cavalry is going to shred these guys. Uh, he's going to pull that unit back. Yep, that, that, there's no way. That, that's it. Okay, 208. Can you get to 209? Can you get to 371? Two. 172, 209, 209, 345. I think he got it right there. I, th I don't think, yeah, I think he got it right there with the 305, 345, because he had 344. So I think between these guys, there, he got it. 208, he went to 209. Uh, this guy got one. Okay, yeah, they're well over 1,000 kills now. So congratulations, those five units racked up 1,000 kills uh, just between the five of them. That, that's impressive feat there, uh, even in a loss like this one. So. The Socii Extraordinarii, Equite, 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 it's almost like it should be Equites, Equites, yeah, I think, I think that's what it is, Socii Equites Extraordinarii, um, and now, finally, maybe, the Lusitani Noble, or these guys are going to push, that's actually kind of a good, nice view, temples with trees on both sides, I like that view, that, that's nice, can we go do that street again, guys, turn around this time, I want you to turn around, nope, okay, never mind, scratch it. Uh, where are you going, though? Okay, you got some infantry chasing you. Uh, you're going for some Balearic Slingers that are out of ammunition rather than surrounding those guys. That makes no sense. Okay, whatever. You know what? It works. Um, bang, look at that. Oh, wow, that's some charge. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's going to be your death because now that you're stopped, 
Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Okay. I think Lusitani is done for at this point. Uh, it was good while it lasts, but Lusitani's reign of terror is over. This heavy infantry going to pop a headhunt, maybe? No, battle rhythm. And they're going to win against the Soci Equites Extraordinarii. Uh, we've got some spears coming up, wrapping up Swabian units. Um, I assume Egypt is just going to rout uh, when this goes, or they'll just go for the VP victory. Um, yeah, look, Rome's still got four units in reserve, plus his general, uh, yet untouched in the reserve. So, Lusitani, good job, Lusitani. 108 there on the Lusitani nobles. He's still got four minutes left on this thing? How? Oh my, why? Can we just, I mean, let's just fast forward. You know what? Oh, I didn't I think of this sooner. Let's just go ahead and hit the fast forward button. Oh, my thing gets jerky. Let's just go with two fast forwards. Okay, there we go. I can't go to the full fast forward. My thing just like starts jerking all over the place. It's really weird. Um, so yeah, the Lusitani Nobles is going to try to chase down that general or those cavalry units. There's a running rampage back there. Um, and they're, he's also going to try to stay in that VP, which is a good idea. Try to um, minimize that or whatever, or not let them take that. Not that cavalry, I don't think cavalry can take it. They have to dismount and then they lose their mounts or something. I don't know. Um, but let's see. These, these Lusitani Nobles, 131. Okay, the last of the Lusitanian defense is over. I think we've done these last four minutes in like 30 seconds, but uh, there's still two minutes left. I mean, this is remarkable. They must have taken the VP and then just had to wait for it to finish because Athens or Egypt wouldn't route. If Egypt had stayed in the fight, this would be a different story. I mean, right now, Egypt has more units than the entire Roman army. Um, so yeah, this one's over. But Lusitani, congratulations on your final stand. And even now, his guy's holding green morale. Gonna pop a second win. These guys gonna go to 200 kills. Uh, yes, they just hit 202. 210, 211, 213, 214. What are these guys going to go out with? Come on, guys. Just die. These Lusitanians. Just un, they're just unwavering. Okay, Roman general going to punch in there. Uh, can they reach 250? They've got 240. Uh, 241. They cannot reach 250. They've reached 250. Okay. Can we go for 300? 300. Come on, 260. 261, you're gonna route, don't, just hold on, a little longer. 270, oh man, they go out with 269 kills. Three chevrons on that unit, and now they're just gonna go for the VP win rather than fight the Egyptians. Um, yeah, I think Egypt would have been a tide turner if he would have stayed in this one. Um, but GG to everyone involved. Congratulations to the attackers. We'll take a look at the statistics, and while we do that, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Um, and so, uh, Legolas, he was playing as the Lusitani, 4,458 kills, 270 on his general, zero on that Iberian cavalry, um, but 375, 357, 262, 280, and 171 on the Blairic Slingers, 171, 119, 245, 220, 257, 230, whoa, wait, hold on, I gotta go back to these Iberian swords, the Iberian swords had two units over 200, and all scored over 100 kills, uh, I could say over 150, but this one just got 119. There's all, I mean, it's good for, I mean, that's a, that's a level, that's the cheapest I, or Lusitanian sword unit you can get. And it went for over 100 kills. That's like taking a Hillman with no experience, no chevrons, and putting it up for 100 kills. That's, that's remarkable. Um, Lusitani Nobles, 257, 237, 251, 277. Uh, then the Veteran Shields, 216, 349, 153, 229, 246, and 166. So if we add this all up, it obviously reaches 4,458 kills. But every unit, except for that Iberian Cavalry, which was used to get rid of some of the uh, Osorn Javelins, I think, um, scored over 100 kills, which is something you rarely see. So then we have Tantalus. Tantalus. He has 780 kills, but most of his units didn't engage. 15 on his carrying axemen, 67, 21, 42, 56 um, on the uh, Nubian bowmen there. Then 49, 83, 79, 121 on those royal pilpasts. One, nothing really else going on with these... Um, Egyptian, or these these thorax 42 or 86 being the best of those 
um, and then 24 and 0 on the pikemen. So he went AFK a little early, so we didn't really see what he really could do. I think he would have been a game changer. They would have won if this guy would have been involved. Uh, Wardland. Uh, 29, 31, 250, or 57, 1, 29, nothing really great on those archers. 44 on that Berserker, 48 on that Club Levy, 114, 113, 135. Good job by the Swordmasters, 130, 154, 179. Um, and then we have Top Tob, this was Athens, uh, 2,349 kills, 161, um, 146, 107, 119. A 192, 203, 103, uh, 120, 132, and 122. So this guy did really good. His, all his Thorax scoring over 100 kills, save this one here that only got 90. Um, then this guy here, 67 on those pick top lights, 119 being the best of the pick top lights. Then 107 on that pike unit, 166 and 189 on those mercenary veteran hop lights, and they earned two chevrons each. Um, then Presco DU92. This guy went with, oh, he did have a full 20 units. Okay, I, take that. I thought I had. I thought he only had 19. He did have a full 20 units. So he had 205 on his Gen Zero on that uh, artillery piece. 84 on the Noble Cav. 154, 167, 187, and 203 on those uh, archers. So good job by the archers. 135, 65, and 97 on those Celtic youths. Um, then 100 on the Celtic Warriors. Good job there. 79 and 70, and then four. So a little disappointing on that last one. Um, 98, 222, 130, 184 on those Oswarn, and then 82 and 215, surprisingly, on that last shield or er, spear warrior. Then we have Aspect. He was playing as the Romans, 2,100 kills, nice and even. I like that. Uh, four on the Legat Legatus, 15 on the Roman Ballista, 137 on that Soci Extraordinarii. Um, Actually, Soci Extraordinarii are a different unit. The Soci Equites Extraordinarii really puts it in because the Socia Extraordinarii, I believe, are a melee cap for Rome. So you have to add the Equite, 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 Equites. Okay, yeah, my apologies to ancient Romans if I pronounced that wrong. 130, uh, 65, 74, and 124 on his ranged units. 29, those levies don't really count. They are a cheap unit. I, we can't bunch those guys in with ranged units. They have a range of like five feet, so it doesn't really matter. Um, they're essentially just infantry with lots of javelins. Um, then we have 32 on that Eagle Cohort. 225, uh, I think, is the best of those. 192, though. Uh, 185, 107, 123. And then 286 and 195 on the Legionnaires. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.